Tutti. Welcome back to Venice. I'm along the canals. Uh, I'm in um, San Marco somewhere. I don't really know. I'm a little uh, lost. I went uh, wandering looking for night photos and, you know, kind of got lost. I think, uh, I think I know where I am. I mean, the square is somewhere down that way, so I'll just head that way and, you know, see what happens. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Friday uh, was my bonus day off, but I couldn't really take advantage, unfortunately. Um, some work stuff came up, um, but, you know, that's... You know, easy come, easy go, I guess, right? No big deal. Um, and uh, I did manage to go to, uh, and it's not like I didn't get any time off. Um, I certainly was, uh, 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 had a nice relaxed day. And uh, I went to the Maritime Museum, or um, the Navy Museum, basically. And uh, yeah, what a cool place that was. Um, Unfortunately, I went at the same time as a bunch of school kids, so it was really loud, <laughs> and I had to I had to put on my patient pants um, and just let them all go do their thing, so that I could, uh, you know, uh, enjoy the the museum. And it was nice; it was really cool. Um, a lot of models, um, but like historically accurate models of. Uh, um, you know, Venetian warships and things like that. I did learn um, uh, quite a bit, actually, um, especially a connection with uh, Scandinavia, in particular Sweden, with Venice. Uh, apparently, um, back in the day when Sweden Sweden had a, an empire, um, and when Sweden was uh, competing with uh, Russia, Russia. Um, uh, Peter the Great, uh, he uh, he decided to modernize, and um, he it was big. He went to to England and, and uh, the Netherlands, among a few other places, and wanted to really modernize. And decided to um, figure out the shipbuilding and uh, build himself a navy. And of course, Sweden was like, okay, well, I guess we need <laughs> we need to be a little bit more serious about the navy, um, and. Obviously, uh, you know, the Russians were already connected with the Dutch and the English. So, of all places, uh, they um, uh, they went to the, the Venetians. Really, really cool. I didn't know any of that. It was very, very cool. Um, it was a very interesting day. Harkening back to your school days, do you remember John Cabot? He discovered Newfoundland. He lived right there. His real name? Giovanni Cabotto. He's a Venetian. Lived right there. It was quite a view. That plaque was um, uh, was sent over by uh, Canadians in Newfoundland. Interesting. But I do have a little bit of a dilemma. So, my philosophy with this whole trip in the first place was I wanted it to be somewhat ethereal, right? Um, like memories, photos, but no stuff, right? Um, years ago, I, you know, uh, tried to minimize. I, I, I moved to a small apartment, so I, you know, couldn't have that much stuff. And, you know, um, the last thing I wanted to do on the last couple of journeys that I've taken um, is I didn't really want to buy a bunch of souvenirs and bring them back and put them on shelves and not know what to do with them, um, you know, and that kind of thing. And, uh, uh, same with this trip, and I went lean, um, lean and mean. Um, you know, I had a, uh, I have a backpack, um, and uh, you know that was nice and full. And then I have this small day pack, um, and this was actually a great purchase because of uh, the last trip that I took, I just had the big backpack, so it was a little awkward to go on day trips with this huge backpack with like four things in it, you know, just flopping about in the back. <laughs> Um, but anyway, um, so the other day I decided to buy a bunch of little trinkets for the folks at home and, and that, and, uh, I realized I might not have the space, um, to bring everything home. Like, um, I was pretty packed to begin with, and if I buy a few things, then, you know, um, I'm not sure where I'm going to fit it all. So I bought a mooka pot, for example, um, because... I didn't have one in Florence, and uh, that really took up a lot of room, right? Um, 
and with my camera stuff, uh, I, I had my CPAP machine I brought with me to make sure that, you know, I slept well. Um, and it's, you know, because uh, of the whole heart thing, they suggest that I make sure I do that. Um, and the pills uh, and all that kind of stuff. So my point is, is there's a good chance now that I've purchased a few things that I might not be able to fit everything into that bag and bring it all home. Um, now, the thing is, is when I was in Palermo and I started eating all this really good food and um, uh, I really wanted to bring back like uh, all that pistachio paste and uh, or pistachio spread and um, uh, some flour, although well, that's probably not a good idea to, to bring through customs, right? Big bag of white flour. <laughs> um, anyway, I, I thought about it in, in Palermo and I was like, I want to bring all this stuff. You know, bring it home and and uh, and, and uh, but the but I have no room. So I I devised this idea at the time because the tickets, my air, airline tickets, um, give me a uh, check one check bag, um, the carry on and the personal. Right. So I could conceivably buy a a backpack and or I could buy a whole big suitcase really, um, and check that bag. Um, and just fill it full of stuff <laughs> that I buy here, right? And then I decided, no, no, remember, right? You you wanted to, um, you know, make memories and and really focus on that, not the stuff, right? Um, especially consumable stuff, because I mean, you're just gonna, you know, eat it and it's done, right? <laughs> you know? Um, so yeah, I don't. I decided against it. And then I went to Florence, and then I've come here, and my mind's starting to change again. Mainly because it might have to, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, so there's a couple of things I could leave. Maybe I could leave the mocha pot, for example. Um, this t-shirt in particular has holes in it, um, so it's probably not coming back with me. But that's just like a little bit of space, right? Um, so I'm at a crossroads right now, um, and I need your help. Tell me, tell me what to do. Should I stick to my convictions, not bring anything home, and figure out how to pack what I have um, the, with the souvenirs for the family and stuff? Um, or should I just go grab a bag and just go nuts and get all the stuff that I, I wanted to get, you know? I wish I would have made my decision when I was in Palermo. So I could have picked up some stuff from there and some other stuff from Florence and some other stuff from Naples, but it is what it is, right? Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know, what should I do? Is stuff really that important? Uh, but there is some cool, cool stuff. And uh, I can bring back some, some things for people. Um, I don't know, Christmas gifts, for example. I'm at a loss. Maybe I'm just momentarily being weak. And that's why I've created this dilemma rather than like know that, you know, uh, I know what I'm going to decide to do. Right? Anyway, if that's my biggest problem, I'm doing okay. And I am doing well. And I hope everyone watching this is doing well as, uh, also. Um, I'm tired. I am... Uh, I'm gonna head to bed early. It's supposed to be rocking Friday night, but I'm uh, getting uh, bugs. Um, it's supposed to be a rocking Friday night, but you know, I think I'm just gonna head to bed. Maybe get some pizza or some more um, more uh, misto frito. Hmm. I don't know. I'll make that decision. Help me with my stuff decision. <laughs> anyway, um, I will talk to everyone tomorrow. Anyway, I'm heading out. Take care of each other. Adamani, Adivadeshi. Ciao.